in this video we are going to talk about cauchy euler equation or sometimes we say this to be homogeneous form we may have fx here as well but let us first focus on this form and just note that we term it to be homogeneous simply because we can write this as x d whole square operated on y a x d operated on y and then we have d y which means x d to the power 0. I hope one can follow this. The point is that why it is called homogeneous is that the power is proportional with the terms. Here it is x d whole square, here it is x d to the power 1 and here it is x d to the power 0 we may suppose and obviously this d stands for d dx. Now this is known as Cauchy Euler equation having <coughs> great importance in the family of differential equations. As we all know that in linear differential equation there are some very specific forms which we can solve and which we can the solution of these forms helps us in many branches of physics. First of all we should remember the <coughs> general second order linear differential equation with constant coefficient. The solution of this equation is here you can put f x and we all know that we choose y equal to e to the power m x to be the trial solution of the part where we take this equation and we have the solution as complementary function while using this operator we may write this differential equation in this format and taking this as a operator of d with constant coefficients we may find y as the inverse of this operator operated on f x to find this as particular integral. And whenever we take the general solution, it turns out to be YCF plus YPI. This is the general frame, framework we all know and I am not going into the details of it. One word about choosing this Y equal to e to the power mx to be the trial solution of this I would like to mention. Why do we take? e to the power mx to be the trial solution. That is simply because any function be it trigonometric, be it hyperbolic, may be expressed as in terms of rather powers of 
e to the power x as we all know that e to the power i x plus e to the power minus i x by 2 is cos x and similarly sin x may be represented as e to the power i x minus e to the power minus i x by 2 i and we have e to the power x plus e to the power minus x by 2 as cos hyperbolic x. We have log x as inverse of e to the power x since if we take e to the power y equal to e to the power x we all know that x is <coughs> log y and so one can find all possible <coughs> infinite series functions like cos x sin x cos hyperbolic x sin hyperbolic x log x in terms of e to the power mx and its linear combination. Now what about the extension of this differential equation of differential equation with constant coefficient to this type of differential equation which had variable coefficient and this is a very <laughs> specific form as we have mentioned at the very onset of this class that this is proportion. Now to find the solution of this type of equation one can substitute as a trial solution y equal to x to the power m why because if we take y equal to x to the power m then d of y or dy dx becomes mx to the power m minus 1 and d2y or d2y dx2 becomes m into m minus 1 x to the power m minus 2 and if we put all these values back into this equation we easily obtain that when x square is multiplied with this we have x to the power m so here we have m into m minus 1 and then when a x is multiplied with this we have a m and here we have b x to the power m I put a bracket here so that So we are taking advantage of this proportional power of x with the order of the differential, order of the derivative rather. So in d2y dx2 is x to the power m minus 2 and we are multiplying it with x square, it turns out to be x to the power m. dy dx is x to the power m minus 1 and we are multiplying it with x. So this also becomes x to the power m and in case of by we have x to the power m itself and so we have the auxiliary equation this m square plus m into a minus 1 plus b which can easily be solved to find the values of m which gives us the value of let us write it as m1 and m2 it may be real or maybe complex or maybe equal root we, as we all know and we may write it as c1 x to the power m1 plus c2 x to the power m2. So the things are very simple just a <coughs> glimpse of another story is that if instead of substituting x to the power m we changed the independent variable x to the 
new independent variable log x. So here the independent variable is x and we changed it to z which is actually log x. Then let us see that dy dz is 1 by x, isn't it so? And dy dx will be dy dz into dz dx. Sorry, this should be written as dz dx. I erroneously wrote it, wrote it as dz dx is 1 by x. And dy dx, which is our primary concern, it is dy dz into dz dx. So we see that dy dz is nothing but x dy dx, which is precisely this term. So if we change the independent variable x to log x, that is a new independent variable is dz, then we can replace x dy dx by dy dz and then again if we find d2y dx2 then this is d dx of dy dx isn't it so d dx of dy dx and we can write it as d dz of dy dx into dz dx and what is dy dx? We have already calculated it as 1 by x dy dz and what is dz dx? This is 1 by x and we are replacing dy dx as 1 by x dy dz okay so this becomes d2y dz2 into 1 by x square when we differentiate dy dz with respect to dz and we keep 1 by x constant and then we have when we differentiate 1 by x with respect to dz it becomes minus 1 by x square dy dz into 1 by x this 1 by x and since we have differentiated 1 by x with respect to x we should multiply it with dx dz and dx dz is x so this and this cancels out and we are left with this so what is this d2y dx2 and if we multiply with x square then x square d2y dx2 becomes d2y dz2 minus dy dz isn't it so minus dy dz so we can replace this term by this and we have d2y dz2 minus dy dz plus a dy dz. So just see that with this help of transforming the dependent variable, we have changed the differential equation with variable coefficient which was originally Cauchy Euler equation x square d2y plus a x dy plus dy equal to 0. We have ch changed this to this form d2y dz2 plus a minus 1 dy dz plus by equal to 0 which is actually 
the differential equation with constant coefficient and in which case we substitute or we take the trial solution as e to the power mz we all know and just look at this that that it becomes actually e to the power mx m log x if we replace the z with this log x then this becomes x to the power m which we have substituted isn't it so so it conforms to the point what we have taken so this is cauchy euler equation and this is very important and the method of solving this type of equations where we have this proportional derivatives and the power of x multiplied with d we may have this type of equation also and we can always solve them either by taking y equal to x to the power m as trial solution which is <coughs> equivalent in transforming this equation with this substitution to a equation with constant coefficient and then take e to the power mz as trial solution they are equivalent if we have fx here then you need to change this to this form otherwise it is difficult for us to find the particular integral of this form ypi because we know that ypi is the role of finding ypi particular integral is that we have to operate fd inverse on fx and that fd inverse should be equation with constant coefficient okay